we are going to discuss about calendar chapter this will be very useful for railway jobs groups and other all government exams so in this leap year so we will be having two category one is leap year and another is leap century leap century okay so for this particular question which among the following year is a leap year so these are all leap these are all comes under years not century okay so for this particular problem the concept is divide each year with 4 so 2026 divided by 4 4 is a 20 0 and it is 26 0 and 4 6 a 24 the remainder is 2 so this 2026 is not divisible by 4 so 2026 is not a leap year okay now similarly check with 1982 1982 divided with 4 4 for the 16 and 3 remainder 38 remaining and what 4 9 the 36 2 remaining and remaining to have the right here and 4 5 the 20 again the remainder is 2 so this 1982 is not divisible by 4 so that is why it is also not a leap year now let us consider 2024 2024 divided with 4 4 fives are 20 that we got 0 and take 0 here and write 24 here and 4 fives are 24 minus the remainder is 0 see here 2024 is divided divisible by 4 then 2024 is a leap year 2024 is the answer okay so this is the first category of the leap year okay now let us move to the second category okay now see this is the second category which among the following years is a leap year see if you observe all the options the last two digits are 0 0 means these are all centuries okay <clears throat> for this particular centuries the concept is divide each century with 400 if the remainder is zero so it is a leap century so if you divide with 400 what you will get so this is not gives the remainder zero how 400 fives are 2000 the remainder is 200 okay so it is not equal to it is uh, not equal to zero that is why it is not a leap century now consider 2300 Now take four hundred again. Four hundred, four hundred five is a two thousand. Again, the remainder is three hundred. It is not equal to zero. So two thousand three hundred is not also leap year. Now consider two thousand four hundred. Two thousand four hundred divided with four hundred. Four hundred six is a two thousand four hundred. So the remainder is zero. So two thousand four hundred. is divisible by 400 so that is why it is a leap century okay this is the answer so the option c is the correct okay now let's go to the practice question which among the following years is a leap year see if you observe the option one the end contains two zeros means it is a century so the concept is 2100 divided with 400 again and 400 fives are it is 2000 so the remainder is 100 so it is not equal to zero so 2100 is not a leap year now let us consider 1974 1974 is not a century it is a normal year that is why we have to divide with only four similarly four four the 16 the remainder seven and four nines are 36 one remainder and write this four here And four three is a twelve, and remainder is two. So it is not equal to zero. And nineteen forty two is not a leap year. Similarly, consider this nineteen hundred. So this is contains two zeros at the end. So this is a century. Nineteen hundred divided with four hundred. So again, four hundred four is a sixteen hundred. 
okay now so the remainder is only 300 so it is not equal to zero so therefore 1900 is also not a leap year now consider 1972 it is a normal year not a century okay now so 1972 divided with 4 see 4 4 the 16 3 remainder and 7 3 9 the 36 and 1 remainder and 2 12 4 3 the 12 so the remainder is 0 so therefore 1972 is a leap year therefore 1972 is a leap year the answer is option d okay i hope you got the concept clearly now let us so do this question and comment the answer in the comment box don't forget to like share subscribe to adjective 0806 thank you